Back in the 40s, 20s, 30s, even the turn of the century, there was five shipyards in the area. I think two in Duluth. And there was actually, where we are here, there was three along the waterfront here. I can't remember the names of them. Me and my brothers were down here with my dad, five years old is when I remember being down here. You know, my dad would go out on a job, we could come in the yard and he'd get on the work boat or he'd take us up on a ship. You were always busy. I mean, my dad was a big believer. My grandpa, both my grandparents, were very hardworking individuals. Even from a young age, um, I mean, I was using a torch when I was probably 10, you know. It was a very work-oriented family. And it's just stuck with me ever since. I was around when the Fitzgerald sunk. My dad had friends on that ship when it sunk. And I don't want to see that same thing happen to these guys. Anytime we go out on a job, our tools are a big part of everything that we do. I mean, you want a product that's gonna last. The repairs are important, but when we leave the boat, and I tell those guys, see you next time, or, you know, have a safe trip, that's what I mean. We work to prevent that from happening again. When you walk into a boat, I look at the lines. I look at the visual aesthetic. That says a lot about the boat, and it says a lot about the people that worked on it. That's how I see it when I, when I think of it, of them going across the lake. What I think of what I've done on that boat to get it to go to its destination. And I take pride in that. I know a lot of my guys do too. That's, that's our job. Learn the value of hard work from my dad and my grandpas. You know, it's hard to look back and say, where did, how did I get that way? But just the drive of, of my family, I guess you'd say.